Built on top of a 100 meter gorge is one of Spain's oldest and most charming cities, offering jaw-dropping views of the surrounding mountains and a beautiful old town to explore. Welcome to Ronda, Spain. What is up guys? Good morning, buenos dias, and welcome to Ronda, Spain. I am here on a quick day trip from Malaga, and today I'm going to take you guys on a little walking tour, show you around the old town, show you some of the sights, and have a ton of fun. So let's go. I'm starting off the morning here on top of Santa Maria Church and you have beautiful views of the city of Ronda and the charming whitewashed homes and then you also have incredible views of the mountains in the distance. It does cost four euro and fifty cents to come on top and into the church but it's a great way to start off the morning. I definitely recommend visiting the top of the Santa Maria Church here in Ronda, but the views aren't gonna stop there. I'm gonna go on a little hike right now to show you the real reason why we come to Ronda. So let's go. So before we get to the main attraction of Ronda, Spain, I've come here to Puente Viejo, which translates to Old Bridge, and it's a beautiful bridge over a little gorge here and it's along this nice little passageway just going for a little stroll and enjoying the nature of Ronda. I am now at the heart of Ronda on the new bridge or Puente Nuevo which connects the old town and the new town. It also stands atop the El Tajo Gorge, but for the best views, we have to hike down. So let's go. If you want the best views of the El Tajo Gorge and the new bridge, then you can take a path from the old town and hike down towards the bottom. There are a few different places you can stop along the way, so you can just go for a quick 10 to 15 minute stroll, or you can hike all the way down. Of course, the further you go down, the fewer people there'll be, and the better views you'll get. I have walked for about 30 minutes down the path towards the bottom of the gorge and check out this view. The view of the new bridge is absolutely spectacular. You have the three incredible arches and the El Tajo Gorge actually goes more than 100 meters or over 300 feet down from the top of the bridge and there's even a waterfall there. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna enjoy the view here and soak it all in. So the path should take you all the way down to the gorge if you want to go to the very bottom, but it's pretty hot out today and the views were really, really beautiful just from where I was. So I'm going to hike back up and continue exploring the town of Ronda. I am back on top of the new bridge here and I'm walking across from the old town to the new town. So let's go explore the more modern, new part of Ronda. So one of the main squares here in the new part of town is Plaza de Socorro, which is where I am now. There's a really beautiful fountain in the middle of the plaza, and then tons of cafes, bars, and restaurants to relax, have a bite to eat, and sip on a coffee.
right next to Plaza del Socorro is Plaza de Toros, which translates to Plaza of Bulls, and is where all the bullfights would take place back in the day. Nowadays, bullfights only take place during one festival in September, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about bullfights, but the ring is absolutely spectacular. It holds 5,000 spectators. You can pay to get in or hop across the street like I did, go to a rooftop hotel, and get some beautiful bird's eye views. Check it out. Right next to the Plaza de Toros is Parque Alameda or Alameda Park, which is a great place to escape the sun and enjoy some tranquility here in Ronda. And at one end of the park, you have another beautiful view of the mountains. There are just so many incredible views in this town from the mountains, the gorge, the bridge, the narrow cobblestone streets. It's really, really charming. views. Ronda, Spain is so, so beautiful. So I'm walking down the main street here in the new part of town in Ronda called Calle Espinel, which definitely has a much different feel than the old town. You have your classic shops, pharmacies, and it's a lot more modern than the old town, but a really cool contrasting feel. I am just walking back to the train station here in Ronda, but I hope you guys enjoyed following along my little walking tour and my day trip here in Ronda, Spain. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below if you are not already, and I will catch you guys next week. Hasta luego.